Hello, this is I Do Damage, and welcome back to the channel. Today I got another Heartwood Online video for you, and today we're going to be talking about how to use the controller in Heartwood Online. It's actually pretty quite simple, but let's go ahead and go over how you achieve this right now. The first thing you're going to want to do is go into your Steam library. You're going to want to find Heartwood Online, right-click on the game, and go to Properties. Once you're there, you're gonna find controller. And when you open this, this will say disable steam input. You do not want that. You want it to be on enable steam input. And this will allow that controller input through the steam interface. Once you're done with that, go ahead and go over to the game. And here's the control scheme up here for all the buttons that you'll use. And these are just by default. Now you can go into the steam settings and you can actually customize the layout. I haven't had much luck with the settings being applied and exported and then actually working in the game. I think there's something behind the scenes that has not been turned on for Heartwood Online to allow you to go in and customize your layout completely like I would like to. But that's all right. You got to remember the game does not have controller support by default. If you go to the game on the game store page, you'll realize controller support is not listed. It is something they're working on, but it's not currently in the game yet. And hopefully this technique that I just taught you will help you out so you can enjoy the game, kick back with that controller in hand and chilling, maybe get your hands off that keyboard, whatever it is. I have played quite a bit with the controller and it definitely works. Another thing worth noting as well is the cursor speed is insanely fast when you're using that right thumbstick. So you may have to go in and turn down your cursor speed just like you would for your mouse and then that'll translate into the game. It is mildly annoying because then if you want to go use your mouse in another app, you got to turn it back up. But hey, it works. Hope you found this video useful. If so, go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.